I take it back, little force. You got it in you. No, you don't. <laughs> McLaren 650S Coupe, it is finally here for the DLC, which is pretty awesome, I did not expect this car to be added to the game, but it's basically what people say and what I say really, it looks like a combination of the P1 and the 12C, it really just looks like they had a baby, that's literally what happened. So uh, let's jump into this beautiful looking thing here, and we are going to be customising this today. Now this livery came up in the suggested. Quite rightly so this came up in the bloody suggested. Jesus Christ, have you seen this? This looks intense. We're going with this one. Alright guys, we are out of the dealership. I haven't listened to this car yet, but here we go. This is gonna be the first time together. Let's experience it, baby. Ooh. Okay, that sounds pretty damn nice. So, what about this car? Uh, I know nothing about this car, except for the fact it reminds me so much of the 12C at the back end, and so much of the P1 at the front end. Not, like, identical at the front, but it's very, very some Ooh! I heard a nice cheeky cockpit noise there. Oh, yes. That is very nice. So, what I thought we'd do to uh, start off this video is really just drive it around stock, get a nice feel for it, and see kind of what purpose we should build this car for because normally we do drift builds but I think what I might do is just kind of make a track circuit build for once because that's not something I normally really do um, I just want to get as much power of it out of it as possible and just see what we can come up with because well as I said normally we just go oh let's try and make it drift hey. and I, I mean I, I enjoy doing that but at the same time I don't want to just drift everything because that's not the purpose the Forza Horizon 2, there's a lot, a lot more stuff you can do, which is the beauty of- Oh my god, I've gone off! I swear to god, the guy that designed this thought Black Panther, as soon as he added this purple onto here, because Jesus Christ, <laughs> this is a beautiful, beautiful colour for this car. I, I wish I could get the purples right, like, exactly like this. Is this some kind of tutorial that I missed or something? Because I have no bloody idea. Um... Because I really want to get a colour like this and just apply it to lots of different cars, such as my SLS. That's a prime example of what I really would like to have this purple. Because, I mean, the normal purple I choose, it's not that nice. It's not that nice. So, it would be cool to be able to actually have uh, this purple. I don't know, it might actually just be one and I missed it completely and I'm just blind. Maybe it is. So, anyway, uh, we're kind of having a little break from the crew for the final video of today. Because, I mean, I've been playing a lot of the crew. And I absolutely love the crew, of course I do. I mean, it's the game I've been waiting for for such a long time. But, you know, you need to kind of play other games as well. I mean, they released the DLC on the exact same day as the crew, so I couldn't let it just, couldn't just let it go. Uh, thankfully though, the rest of the other DLC cars aren't like, oh my, why would you do that? Aren't that appetizing? Because you know, you eat cars now. Um, so I'm not really gonna bother, do it, you know, doing videos specifically for them but you know you, you get the idea you get the idea anywho what we should do now is probably make our way round and kind of send it back to the well, place where we upgrade it and upgrade this car because i think we'll actually get a really nice build out of this because so far my first impressions are it handles well for a rear wheel drive car because normally when you have a high powered rear wheel drive car to be honest on this game they obviously they're going to be more controllable at the front but it, they slide way too much on this game and it's not in the way that they normally would it's in the way that it's really light and sliding it doesn't make sense but yeah so what's that oh that's the uh, 4c it is the 4c it's the little tiny one do you want mate do you want a race let's give it him a race oh that actually sounds pretty damn nice I take it back, little force, you got it in you. No, you don't. <laughs> Maybe not. The finish line is 1.3. Let's see if he actually... Oh, come on. Look, right, Anna, you don't need to tell me where to go because this is literally a straight road for a race. Turn right where? Where the bloody hell do I turn right? <laughs> turn around. Listening to her... This wouldn't have gone well. 
at all. And across the line, thankfully, that Jeep disappeared right at the end. Otherwise, I would have smashed into the back of that. How much did I get? 5k peasant money. But anyway, what I'm going to go do now is go to the dealership or the hub and upgrade this beauty. That purple is really, really growing on me. Uh, one thing I noticed, we just got the gifted money, so let's download that. Give me that million that I earned from not playing the game as much as I should, because I've been playing other things. Anyway, jumping in to the hub. I'm not sure you may call them. It's a showroom and a garage, so I don't know which one to go with. Anyway, we don't know what we're doing today. We're going to the garage, so technically call it a garage. Though garages can sell cars as well, so I don't know. Anyway, what can we do? We can do an engine swap, and we can put a 6-litre V12 in there. I want to do that, but I don't at the same time. No, we're not going to touch the engine. I, can't, I quite like it as it is, and we could put all-wheel drive in there, but I'm not going to chicken out just yet. I may do it in the future, but... Right now, I think it's fine rear wheel drive. Front bumper modifications, I am adding those on. Holy crap. I love that. And as for the spoiler, no thank you. We'll keep the stock one. I like I like ones that move around like that and stuff. And the rims. Okay, so I'm going to go with the BBS RE rims. Not, not something I'd normally go with to my taste, really, but... It kind of looks pretty damn cool if you look at it from this angle. I really like that. Uh, I'm going increase, to increase the tyre width because... I like as much grip as possible, <laughs> and let's put that like that, and as for the tyres, we can only put them on race, so I'm not going to do that, we're kind of lucky that we put the bloody, uh, the grip back up on, on the width of those, so what I'm going to do is pretty much upgrade everything I think, I want to go full out all power possible with this car, and then uh, I will see you in a second, so you already know the basics, let's just move along. So for the tune, we've gone with something pretty basic, not really gone in depth with it, but if you want to copy it, it's all right here. Don't really need to explain any of it. It's basically just, I mean, I've kind of stiffened the suspension a little bit here and there, but that's about it. Nothing much else. Oh my God. Okay, so it's, oh, it just did a little hop there. Homer, um, Jesus Christ. Not the best time to be driving on wet roads, is it? Shite. 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 So now it is completely dark. So it's kind of hard to see the fact that this car is even purple anymore. But good God, it is much more powerful than I expected. We actually finished with 915 horses. Which is a damn lot of power for a car. <laughs> Especially a car like this. I didn't expect it to be, you know, reach that number. Um, I probably expected it to reach maybe 600, 700. I don't know why I didn't think it was going to reach like 900. I thought maybe we'd get to 1,000, but unfortunately we couldn't round it off that much. But we got a nice solid 915, which is pretty cool. Where are they going? Let's follow them. I want to join you, buddies. And it looks like this car is just as good as the P1 off-roading. Seriously? Jesus Christ, if you followed me for a little bit, you'll know that I had a lot of damn fun off-roading in my P1, which sounds a little bit weird, but it is probably one of the best off-roading cars because of how grippy it is to the road. It's crazy, but it's true. Where are they all going? It's like they're all going to the festival or something. <laughs> Who would have thought that? Oh my god! Thanks for being in the way, you absolute fool. So handling wise, how's it now that we've fully upgraded it? It's about the same really. I thought it was going to be like completely uncontrollable, um, but it's not too bad actually. It's it's still, you know, somewhat controllable. It just has that annoying slide that Forza Horizon 2 gives every car unless you grip it like hell. Um, so really we should have put the, uh, the, the race tires on it. Probably would have gripped a lot, a lot more. I'm just giving myself an idea. Transition. It's done something. It's a lot grip, more gripped to the road. And it also made it X-Class. <laughs> it made the bloody thing X-Class. We don't even need the P1 anymore. Just, to, just don't, you know, do what you normally do. Remove it from the next game and sell it as DLC. I don't know. <laughs> Holy crap. I didn't think it was this quick. It's... Eating those numbers. 220. 
22, 23, 24. If we actually tune this right, we could have a bloody high speed monster here. 226 seems to be as fast as it wants to go right now. Shite. Good God. And remember, we can also put the uh, the V12 in there, the 6 litre V12, which is insane. I think that would be absolutely incredible. I've got to try that at some point. But anyway, carrying on. So, handling-wise, it's improved a little bit. It's still, as I said, it's got the Forza Horizon 2 slide. I think if we went with, like, a massive uh, opposite to, you know, what we normally do for drifting, just increase the toe in the other direction, this thing won't slide at all. That's probably the best way to, you know, stop sliding on the game, unless you want to put traction control on. You can always put that on. Not sure who'd want to do that. Who needs traction control, right? Shite! That's a wall. What is that thing driving behind me? It sounds bloody great. <laughs> Stop spinning. I just want to see what he's... Okay. Can anyone work out what it is before me? You know what? I've got a better idea. Let's go into photo mode and cheat. Is it a BMW? It looks like a BMW. It is a BMW. It's not. It's a Lexus. <laughs> Close enough. I don't care. It's it's the same thing, all right? It's, it's a big saloon car that looks the same. Goodbye. Anyway, so overall, I like my thoughts on this car... It's a nice little DLC car, like the whole pack in general, it's it's another, it's not amazing, it'll do. If it was a $10 pack like it was on the last game, then I'd be a little bit annoyed, but it's a $5 one, so that's absolutely fine, really. Honestly, if you're getting all those cars for $5, if you actually have to pay 10 and I didn't know, I didn't, I didn't know, then this is a scam. I'm so, like, the rest of the cars to me are just not worth the price, but, uh... I'd say if, you, if you're if you an enthusiast, and obviously if you've got the season pass, you can get this beauty and drive into the distance in the cockpit view. Here we go. Let's try a bit of cockpit I don't know why I haven't tried much cockpit view in this. Let's try and get another high speed on the highway to end this video, guys. But uh, other than that, I'll see you soon. Peace.